The Leanly Q58 is the smallest available case in India, which sits around 15 liters in volume. Your average mid tower is close to 35 to 40 liters of volume. And this is what I have in front of me, in the shoe box, is the Low-Q Ghost S1. It has a volume of 8.5 liters. For context, it actually fits inside a shoe box as well. And that's the best part. This can literally change its height as well. How do they do it? I don't know, but I don't know. इस वीडियो में। Now seeing this case, one can't help but ask क्यों? क्या करोगे आप ऐसे केस का, इतने छोटे से केस का? Well to start off, it looks pretty cool. मतलब who wouldn't like a PC the size of an Xbox? Imagine your friend trying to open your Xbox and boom, it's your PC. Now even after three years, ये केस के थोड़े यूनिक फीचर्स हैं जो मैं आपको ये कैबिनेट खोलते हुए बताऊंगा। But जैसे कि आपने नोटिस किया है ये मेरे पास कोई स्क्रूड्राइवर नहीं है। Now to open this case, हमने कोई special star-shaped Allen key मिली हुई है। इसको यूज़ करना पड़ेगा। So it has something to do with the rigidity that they decided against using regular screws। तो मैं खोल लेता हूँ इसको। So yeah, Loki claims that regular regular Phillips screw heads aren't good, so they decided to go with this। So that's how easy it comes off। It's super super easy। Now let's start opening the bottom panel। So this design actually screams minimalism। as you can see, in fact, the front panel, like the front panel is just one button, one button, which is the on button and that's about it. Or kuch nahi hai isme button. Literally, I.O. mein bhi kuch USB nahi hai. So haan, minimalism plus plus hai hai. Now personally, being a creator, I find the front panel very, very convenient. At least for USB ports, simply lagao aur aage bado. Footage transfer karna hai, file transfer karna hai, some cases have SD cards. I kind of feel that is good. But again, uh, this is like a choice wala thing. People who like minimalism may really appreciate this. Secondly, its aesthetic, I mean, we cannot deny that it is a special aesthetic probably we have never seen it. And that's it. I think we don't need to remove any more screws after this. The side panels also come off directly. Let's proceed to remove the side panels. This is the bottom panel. It has nice rubber feet, as you can see. Nice rubber feet over here. Let's remove the side panels. That is smooth. Also, this is not assembly, so we actually need to do. And if you actually look at the design, this is kind of designed just around this, this spine to make the cabinet slightly more rigid and it actually is, there's absolutely no flex. I mean, actually rigid, I'm actually, I'm putting power down. Ouch. Single piece of aluminum block se bana hai, rather than joining multiple small pieces with industrial adhesives. So, yeah, its quality is actually very bad. So, what we were doing now, that was the time passed. Now, we'll actually build a system in this and see how the system building will be the system building. So, let's get started. So, now this, 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 this has an amazing motherboard. It has the X570i gaming from ASUS. Probably one of the very few powerful mini ITX. मतलब even though it's a mini ITX, you can see the number of VRMs it has. Now okay, दिखने में तो ये काफी fundu case है actually. It looks really good. So Loki actually makes some bold claims about performance. In fact, comparing with their rivals, ये कहते हैं कि unparalleled cooling performance मिलेगा. मतलब मैं ऐसा नहीं बोल रहा हूँ हम पता करेंगे टेस्ट करके इनकी वेबसाइट पे वैसे लिखा हुआ ही है अनपैरेलल्ड विच बेसिकली मुझे अच्छा अच्छा आपको कूलिंग परफॉर्मेंस मिनी एटिक्स में नहीं मिलेगा आई मीन कम टू थिंक ऑफ इट ये सारा कुछ तो मैशी है इट्स इट्स प्रॉब्ली गोइंग बी ए नाइटमेयर फॉर डस्ट बट ओके लंबे लंबे अलग टाइप के स्क्रू है एंड बेस्ट ऑफ लक इफ यू लूज दैट स्क्रू कभी जिंदगी में नहीं मिलने वाला है वाह ओ अभी मैं वीडियो में बोल रहा था कि अगर इसे स्क्रू घूम गया तो लग जाएगी आई थिंक आई डिड दैट ओह एक और दूसरा कनेक्शन भी है इसमें ओह ओह एलईडी है उसका दिस इज दिस इज ऑल Clearance के साथ tight हो रहा है। So we're putting a 3060 Ti in this, bro. It's like proper tight fit है, bro. Like legit. वो like मैं नहीं झुकेगा। Okay, let's install the power supplies. Doesn't have a USB 3.0. We don't care about this. Doesn't have a audio jack, so we don't need this as well. So our primary I/O is still going to be this only. This everything is fine, man. Because nine times out of ten, the kind of use case this has involves a minimalistic setup under a TV in your living room. Okay, okay. Let us do the cabling, guys. Cabling. What's amazing is, in this small case, maybe they're managing to fit this here. Yeah. मतलब a 240 mm in 8.5 liter. Imagine how that's going to be. Now you might think, कि how do we install a 240 mm like लगेगा किधर? So we have an amazing contraption for that. This is called a top hat. This actually goes in the top. Like we had said earlier in the beginning of the video, 
this can actually change its height and yeah there you go so finally hum log ne thoda sa ye installation mein thoda meko help bhi lagi so this is kind of complicated basically this top hat installation and the radiator installation and finally we are going to finish this thing and yeah we almost done I mean the entire assembly process is good up until the point we try to install the 240 mm. I wouldn't say it's difficult, but yeah, it's a little complicated when you consider the fact that this is a small form factor case. As you can see the side panels on this case have perforations. Satisfying clink hai bhai. There you go. So these rubber feet can go here or there depending on where you want to close your case. So yeah, you can see that all the panels over here are perforated. So natural question you would be thinking is कि intake का क्या? Now if you really want an intake, you can actually install this panel. This panel either goes on the top or the bottom. Now for an average build, a single stock cooler would be fine, but we are the MVP. We don't do average builds, do we? So हाँ ये इसका top hat लगाने के बाद you can literally install a 240 mm. थोड़ा सा challenging था, but yeah it was fun. So you can either expand the top or the bottom. In case of such expansions, इसमें आप extra fans, hard drive या even liquid cooler भी डाल सकते हो. This was again one of the most important factors that was considered. This case can be customized as per the user's requirement, which is why आप लोग ये दूसरे हैट्स भी ले सकते हो for up to nine different configurations. Yes, you heard me right, nine different configurations in a single case. That's actually crazy. So finally, coming to the main topic of discussion, is this truly unparalleled performance? So we ran a few tests with three other mini ITX builds, and here are the results. Unfortunately, we didn't have a low-profile core, so we had to do this with a 240 mm AIO. And as you can see, the Ghost S1 is pretty decent, just a few degrees shy from the Lian Li Q58, while having just 75% of its volume. And talking about GPUs, it's practically the same since both of these cases have separate chambers for the GPU. Now, because of the top hat, the volume of this case has increased to 11 liters, but that still makes this the smallest case we ever reviewed or even built. And that too by a good margin. हाँ तो बहुत बढ़िया जी. इतना अच्छा केस है तो अब तक इसको किसी ने लिया क्यों नहीं? Now the price actually goes up to twenty thousand rupees. That's a big price tag for such a small case. का price इतना बड़ा था कि India में actually इसका import थोड़ा सा कमी हुआ है. But thankfully the guys at Stacks KB decided to send us a few units. And if you are looking to get this for yourself. Even just the case, you know who to contact. Our socials, our email address is on your screen right now. And that basically covers everything. And if you like the video, थोड़ा thumbs up पिला दो और नहीं पसंद आया तो comment कर दो. See you in the next one. Cheers. Thank you for watching.